Good morning guys. Today is Wednesday and we are doing a day in the life video because Chris has a day off today. So we are just popping down to, where are we going? Where is this? Harold Wood? Gallows Corner in Essex to next because Chris got some vouchers for Christmas. So we are off to spend them. Oh my god, this light is amazing. For you dog lovers out there. This is needed. I found him. What have you picked up? Well, that's nice. I snuck into the changing room with Chris, so I'm just helping him choose um, what to have. Grab mm. the other one. I like this. This is nice. There's a little catwalk model. That is nice. Right, so we're home now and um, Chris bought his outfit. I was looking at mine, I was very good, I didn't buy anything. I just actually bought some socks for the kids, at, like some school socks, because I don't know what happens to their school socks, but they literally have no pairs left. Going from like 20 to no pairs, don't know where they are. Um, I was looking around all the home section and literally I could have bought everything in there, but. We are living on a budget now, so I'm being so super duper good. It is literally like the most windiest day out there. When we dropped the kids off to school this morning, they were literally getting blown over. So, like, you know when you're kind of walking along and suddenly they walk really fast because the winds like push them along. So I'm really, really tired today because at 20 past 12, Jamie decided to come into my room. And then Rory woke up. What time did Rory wake up? I think it was even earlier than that. Rory woke up like at some ridiculous hour this morning and started telling me he was hungry. So I think it was about five o'clock in the morning. And he kept saying, I'm just so hungry. So then he went down at like six, no, like at 10 to six, I think he went down to make himself a piece of toast. What a weirdo. Right, so you know I was telling you I was so tired. I had to have a coffee. Chris just made me a coffee with almond milk. And then this is the Wildson fruit. Oh, fruit loaf with some honey on top oh my god honestly guys it is so good mm. that is genuinely like you're having a treat mm. it is a treat well it's fruit but it's a treat it's not good for you it's, fruit. it's just an alternative to having like a it's not got any sugar in it yeah it's like a better version of it's a healthy treat Probably like a hot cross bun or something like that. I am so close, guys, to 5,000 subscribers, and I am like wondering if I'm gonna get there by the end of the month. So this video is going on um, 25th of January, and I wonder if we can get to 5K by the end of the month. So if you are watching this and you guys aren't subscribed and you like what you see, then please press that subscribe button below. I would love to have you stick around and see some more of my videos. And those of you who are subscribed, thank you so much for being subscribed. It means honestly the world to me, it really does. I love making videos for you guys and if it makes you happy, then it makes me so happy too. And obviously, again, if you want to see any other videos from me, then please comment below and let me know what kind of videos you want because I love making videos that you guys suggest because I know that's what you want to see. So I wanted to tell you guys about the new support group that Channel Mum have on their website. Um, I will link it below in the description box, but it's brilliant. Like, I don't know about you guys, but my kids are five and seven now, and still I feel sometimes like I'm quite alone as a mum, and I think being a mum can be quite like a lonely thing in your life. Like, you know, especially if you're a stay-at-home mum and you don't work, you've got five days a week by yourself with your children, and that is hard, you know, especially when the weather's rubbish, like it is today and it's raining, it's hard to just 
sort of think of things to entertain your kids whilst also entertaining yourself. So even though my kids are at school, I still feel this kind of aloneness sometimes. And some days I sit at home and I think, where am I going with my life? What am I doing with my life? So I just wanted to say this because I know there are a lot of other people out there in exactly the same as my position with their kids at school and they're kind of still thinking like, why should we feel like this? But it is totally normal, guys. So I'm going to link it down below and there are loads and loads of different like support chats on there. You've got um, all different kind of psychologists on there who can talk you through things. And it's also just nice to have mum chat with people. But anyway, I will link it below, guys, so you can go and have a real proper look at the website because it's really, really great. This little dog literally doesn't leave me alone. Like, I think she's got serious separation anxiety. <laughs> Maybe I should go on that channel mum um, page and know what to do about separation anxiety. My kids never really had this. So, uh, actually that's a lie. Jamie had it terribly when he was younger. But anyway, they don't now. And football has just been canceled from the boys. So I'm gonna go and pick them up normal time from school. Oh my goodness, so I've just had a call from this morning to see if I want to go on tomorrow morning to debate stay at home mums. So I am a stay at home mum, obviously I vlog, um, so that is like my job, but they, um, yeah, there's been like a big chat in this, in mums net group about this woman who's ranting off about mums who stay at home and asking what they do all day long. So I'm going on tomorrow morning to debate that and to bite my corner of what I do all day and why this lady needs to get so riled up about mums that stay at home. Chris and I have always said that we would rather have a bit less money every month and me be around for the kids to take them to school, to be there if one of them gets sick and has to come home. If it's their like sports days, I can go and watch when it's the school holidays. I mean, it's really difficult. I take my hat off to those people who do work because I just think it's really difficult, like logistically, splitting yourselves between all these different things. So anyway, do you like it that mummy's at home all the time? Do you like it that I pick you up every day? Yeah? <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Jamie's whinging about his dinner. This is his little bowl that Chris has said that he's had to eat. That's the rest of what he has to eat and he can't do it. We've said no apple until he's finished that. I know you might think apples are healthy, but we don't want him to think he can have a dessert when he hasn't finished his dinner. We have got so much chocolate left over from Christmas. As it's Chris's birthday on Saturday, like for his work, they have to take in cakes. He's just been to the shop to buy some Rice Krispies, but then got home and realized he bought the multi-grain shapes. So he's gonna be making multi-grain shapes Rice Krispie cakes. How good Chris's cakes look. They are so chocolatey. I'm showered, hair's washed, ready for tomorrow. So usually every single night, Chris and I sit in front of the TV watching some kind of like series or film. So tonight, we thought we were gonna spice things up. We've got Monopoly out. And if anyone knows Chris, they will know that he is a very competitive person. So if I win tonight, he's probably gonna cry. This is the face of Lucy. <laughs> this is all my money. These are all my properties. This is my board. These here, that's Chris's. <laughs> that's it, that's all he owns. Everything else on the board is mine. <laughs> no, I played a good game. I just bought whatever I landed on at the beginning and you were being very fussy about what you were buying. You were like, oh, who wants to buy the electric company? I did. That electric company did me well. I bought all the stations. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. 